All right, guys, welcome back. My name's Jeremy. Uh, I love you first and foremost, and this is always my personal views. This is informational and educational purposes only. It can be considered a satire. You do not have to believe anything I'm going to say. You can call it conspiracy and just leave it at that, guys. Um, but please listen and please share this message, guys. I'm going to put some things together here, and this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, so please stay with me, guys. All right, so... Elon tweeted recently, there's been a lot of talk about the Roman Empire, guys, and for those that know, um, the Roman Empire has been around for a long time, still in control, right? And this is the, what we're going through here recently is the collapse of the Roman Empire officially. We can call it the Roman Empire Collapse 2.0, okay? Go check out Elon's tweet. He's, you know, he's breadcrumbing people, right? So what what are some things that are coming up, right? So there's a potential government shutdown coming up, right? We have uh, a few months ago, the senators that were issued satellite phones, okay? We have um, immigrant crisis going on. We have the governor of Texas declaring an invasion. We have Venezuelans, uh, almost 500,000 Venezuelans being given citizenship basically overnight. You have the governor of Illinois who has stated that he will deputize um, uh, foreign immigrants, okay, to basically go right into law enforcement, okay? Remember, during the pandemic, prisons were emptied, okay? I just want you to start connecting dots. We have so many things going on right now that show a collapse of uh, complete societal collapse, right? You've got an energy crisis going on all over the world. You know, Russia stopped their exports. I made a video about that. You can check out that. You have the BRICS alliance where the OPEC nations, 80% of the oil producing nations have joined the BRICS alliance, which you know it affects trade with the US because of the US dollar rule. You can't trade in US dollars. You have the Biden uh, shutting down our pipelines here. You have uh, the Niger pipeline going to France and, and and what's going on in Niger. Uh, look up these articles, guys. You can do a little information. I'm not putting any graphics here. I'm not sharing the articles. Please do your own research about the things I'm talking about, okay? You have economic crisis. The U.S. is already over $34 trillion in debt. And I told you, once we get to $33 trillion, things are really going to start expediting. You can look up the U.S. debt clock for yourself, and you can see all the changes that they have made. And look at the value of your dollar and how it is depleting overnight, okay? You have the U.S. corporation that is officially bankrupt. Yes, the United States is a corporation. These are things that you can research. This is factual information that I'm sharing with you here, guys. You have labor strikes starting and layoffs happening. You have AI technology coming in to, to replace human jobs, okay? This is all part of an economic collapse, guys. You have the um, the, the, the new COVID variant and the, the rumors of you know New York trying to implement quarantine camps, whether it was appealed or not. They have a new vaccine vaccine, a brand new vaccine, okay? You have $600 million that was just spent for more free tests, but how do you spend $600 million and label it free, guys? That's what we call double speak. You have extreme catastrophic events that are happening all over, weather events, whether you want to get into whether they're natural or man-made, that is for a whole nother video, but they're happening. They're destroying lands. They're relocating people. This is, this is causing economic turmoil. This is causing uh, structural turmoil, obviously, okay? Um, you have uh, war going on. Yes, the U.S. is at war. Whether you want to call it a proxy war or not, it is our money and our military weapons going over there. We are in the middle of a war with Russia, and Russia is aligned with China, and the Chinese uh, and, and American tensions are only getting uh, worse, uh, especially with China um, surrounding Taiwan and, and, and invading Taiwan spaces, okay? And Biden was on record saying that the U.S. would back Taiwan if there was ever kind of some kind of uh, threat from from China, okay? Again, this is all information that you can look up. I'm just sharing what's going on in the world, okay? You have a new monetary system that is being built behind the scenes because of the fact that the economy is collapsing. Uh, guys, it is extremely important for you guys to be paying attention to what's going on. And through all of this, like I said, guys, um, it's, it's not about fear, okay? It is about love and being prepared. It is about coming together. It is about having a plan. It is, look, I'm going to be flat out honest. Not all of us are going to survive what is going on right now. Okay, let's just get real. I'm not trying to get dark with people. I'm trying to be as real as I can. I asked the Most High to make sure that I spoke from the heart and gave you a message that was just about the what's going on, guys. So after all is said and done, so after all this goes down, what does it lead to? Okay, you got destroyed lands, you got destroyed economy, you got Trump just coming out and talking about biometrics, right? Okay, 
you know, they're going to use all these things. I tried to tell you, he's not on your side, guys. Trump is not here to save you, okay? He's here to, to, to just implement the same kind of strategy for their goal. They have a goal, and that is to end up having everyone in what they call the smart cities on a universal basic income for those who remain uh, with the CBDC, programmable money, uh, the 24-7 the biometric surveillance. Uh, guys, you need to look into this, guys, because it's all happening in real time. It's all happening right now. And we are heading into what they have called and predicted the dark winter. All these things are now all, all, all lined up. It's all right there, guys. Everything I just talked about, government shutdowns, satellite phones, uh, the immigrant crisis, deputizing uh, foreign uh, immigrants, okay, in, in, in your own country. Empty prisons waiting there, uh, quarantine camp rumors in, in New York, FEMA camp rumors. You've got the economic crisis. You've got the uh, weather events, catastrophes everywhere, guys. Okay, And all on top of that, you're seeing phenomenon in the sky that people have never seen before. You've got all sorts of recordings of all sorts of different um, astrological phenomenon and what do you want to call it, UFO or alien sightings, whatever you want to call it, these things are happening right now, guys. We are living in what people would refer to as the end times, okay? An end of an age, an end of a cycle. Now, let me end this on a good note, guys. We are going through a great awakening at the same time, okay? We would not be shown these things if there wasn't something greater coming, okay? We would not be shown these things to suffer ahead of time and to be in a place of fear, okay? Something greater is showing us these things so we can stay in a place of love, so we can come together, so we can defeat this ideology that's trying to be pushed on us, okay? Another ideology going on out there is is the attack on the kids and whether they should be able to choose their uh, sexual genders at a certain age and, and have surgeries and things like that at a certain age. Guys, please wake up and pay attention to what is going on, okay? The American dream was a dream, okay? And it's dead. Okay, the American Empire has only been a part of the Roman Empire, and the Roman Empire is collapsing, and they know it. And so they're doing every, they're throwing everything they can to create a new empire. You do not have to participate in it. We are trying to prepare an exit strategy out of this, our exodus, okay? And so when I talk about things like cryptocurrency and stuff like that, it's only a tool for us to try and use to build a better world. So we can use some of their tools against them. OK, use it to our benefit and then we can scrap it all and we can start over. But if we can if we can try and help some people, if there's a transfer of generational wealth coming, OK, which it is coming. All right. Then we can use that to counteract and fight because we need resources, guys. All right. It's just that simple. We need resources. Money is money. It's just a medium of exchange. Doesn't matter. Yes, we always want some physical kind of item for for private transactions and the ability to secure our own family. I get that, okay. But that is not in our control right now because right now we are part of a monetary system that is owned and controlled by a private organization, okay. What it, whatever you want to call it. All right. So just please connect these dots. Please share this information. Get it out to people so they can so they can go do the research on these things for themselves. Because again, I am just sharing the information as educational and informational purposes only. You can call it conspiracy. You can call it satire. You can call it whatever you want. But these things are documented. These events have happened and are happening as we speak. Okay, and we're going into the winter. It's it's coming. Okay, I love you guys. I I truly love you, and I'm here for you. You can reach out anything you need. All right. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video.